What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Oh my god, it feels so good to be in front of the camera again. It's been so long. Obviously, a lot of people have been, I didn't mean to show you that just yet, but a lot of people have been actually DMing me and asking me like, yo, when is the content coming back? And well, it's back. And the only reason why is well, because as you can see, she's back. Now, for those of you that uh, have not been keeping up with the videos or, you know, are new to the channel, let me go ahead and give you a quick update. So if you guys remember correctly, I did have a sticker there because I had a big crack and I put a little Speed Vultures sticker there. And now the bumper got repainted and I also got repainted that. So for those of you that don't know or not aware, uh, in the last video I uploaded, I went to the dyno and I called AAA to come and help me load up the car and take it to the dyno. The only reason why is because I upgraded the fuel pump and I didn't want to have any issues while I was driving. Driving there it wasn't far but i just wanted to play it safe and when the AAA guy showed up i asked him to just guide me load it up and if there was any issues just to give me a heads up before things got worse and well they didn't so he was the worst guide ever and i had a shit ton of spider cracks here here and then all of this front end right here got scratched and it was just messed up and i had just put it back on because i just got it back from the painter now there is something else i do want to show you guys if you guys remember i was running a no wing type of uh, trunk originally i had it on i took it off because a box fell on it and it ended up damaging in the wing and i had it sitting there i was debating if i really wanted to put it back on or sell it because i was actually enjoying the look that i had with a no wing and well i took it upon myself to talk to the painter I said hey look bro if you can somehow make this work again make it cool and make me want to keep it then i'll install it and sure enough you did so as you can see we ended up going ahead and adding the little black accent on the wing itself and I gotta admit, it looks so much better. Another thing that I didn't wanna do, but it kinda made sense to do it, although it looks a little tacky as well. We ended up painting the keyhole this time, and the only reason why we did that is just because, as you guys can tell, it doesn't line up properly. And to do that, and to line it up perfectly and everything like that, it was gonna be so much work that I just didn't feel it was necessary. I said, look, do what you feel is right, and let me know how it goes. And sure enough, it looks pretty good. From a distance, you can't really tell. And then the black accents do help with the fact that not everything lines up perfectly, and it just looks good overall i'm pretty happy with the results another thing that i want to update is i want to remove this badge and lift it up a little bit because as you guys can tell there's like a little dimple right there and i want it higher so i want to make sure that's cool another thing as you guys can see the interior is a mess it is dusty it is dirty and i have my cleaning supplies there for one reason and well that reason is very very simple because we're gonna go wash the car really fast because i do have another update that i want to talk to you guys about and i'm sure you can clearly see see it in this video and well as you guys can see i am missing my headliner and all the panels on the side and there's a reason for that a very good reason as you guys could have seen in the last couple videos or anytime i've driven my car you guys notice the headliner was falling from there and from over there in this area and well i didn't like that because i figured if the car looks really good from the outside it looks pretty good from the inside but that right there was just like the ah, final straw that i just made it look really ugly and cheap and of course i didn't like that so we took it to an upholstery shop I was hoping to have it in time. So when I do this video of telling you guys I got the car back, we would do a nice little install and everything, but I don't have it back just yet. I ended up also taking them the little visors because I wanted them to match it. Because unfortunately the color that we have is a 21 year old color or actually, yeah, it's a 21 year old color and it no longer is in production. So I ended up going with a suede black and well, or just a black. And sometimes that means losing or having some different shades of color, but whatever, it's gonna be 50 shades of black in here. I don't care, as you guys can see. The steering wheel is a Alcantara, so it already looks a little different, but, but I digress. With that being said, let's go wash this car and let's make it clean again because I am not a fan of all of this dust. <laughs> touchless car wash today because obviously I got the car repainted and cleaned up by the painter so I don't want to mess it up 
So we're gonna use this one today and always because why the why would I pay so much money to keep this clean and then mess it up? So let's uh yeah. The only thing I'm scared of is that the undercarriage one because on that side, right where my wheel is at, I have the air filter. So I'm gonna like zoom in really fast so that way I don't get that water in the intake and then potentially blow my motor. So we're gonna do this quickly. But look at that. Look how awesome that looks. Sick. like that guys she is clean and believe it or not i actually feel really good in here the um the mcguire's little cleaner that i use it's like a natural shine so that shit has like a really really good smell to it and yeah pretty happy man i need to give you guys a pov drive like look at this look how sick this looks anyway also uh just want to give you guys an update so one of you guys recommended me uh in one of the videos that i was talking about my suspension and how the car was driving and stuff like that uh we talked about the rear sway bar so i have a front sway bar obviously and it is an ibox sway bar so it's an upgraded sway bar and the one in the rear is actually the stock one that came from ford and one of you guys mentioned to me i currently do not remember your name or your youtube handle but you know who you are i'm actually on the way right now to go get the rear ibox sway bar from one of my boys jt he used to have a mach 1 he sold it and now he's looking to get himself something else and he told me hey if you want it come get it gave me a price and i could not pass up that deal so we're gonna go over there right now and shout out to you bro because of you i am getting this little upgrade and if i don't do it in this video we'll do it in a future video but we'll get it installed all right guys and just like that we are back home uh i didn't record a lot especially being there because i haven't seen him in a while so i wanted to just chop it up with him didn't want to put a camera in his face but guess what we got it we got the sway bar so to the subscriber out there that told me about this I got it. I'm a man of my word. So anytime you guys give me suggestions or you guys give me recommendations on things that potentially can make the car better, I do listen. Okay. I do listen. So shout out to my boy JT. And uh, yeah. So unfortunately, this video obviously wasn't jam packed with exciting stuff, but it's going to start. I just wanted to welcome you guys back and give you guys a little insight onto what is going on. Another update as well is the headliner is ready and uh, we're going to go pick that up in the next video. So see you guys.